Take a moment to think, what are you looking for in a new instrument? Is there something specific that you hope to purchase? Or do you simply just need a new flute because the old one is holding you back? Decide what's most important to you. Is there anything you just won't compromise on, like an offset G versus an inline, or maybe a C-sharp trill, or a splitty mechanism? Contact your teacher. We cannot stress enough how helpful they can be during the trial process. If you don't have a teacher, feel free to reach out to one of our resident flutists. We'd be more than happy to help you. Last but not least, check out some music. Pick something that you're comfortable with. Try not to pick something that's brand new or you're unfamiliar with. It can make the process a little confusing. So the first thing you want to decide when you're looking for a new flute is your budget. Keep in mind that there are really excellent models in all budgets from under $1,000 to well over $50,000 for a gold or platinum flute. But there are always really good options in each price point. And remember that no two people are going to decide on the exact same flute. Um, it's also important to keep in mind that flutes exist within price ranges. So for instance, uh, Haynes and Powell might make two flutes that have the same specs but cost slightly different amounts of money. So you'll want to think about your budget in terms of a range rather than a fixed dollar point. The last thing I'll mention is that the Flute Center has a wide uh, array of financing options from quad pay online to uh, traditional financing through Noteworthy, Allegro with a no interest option, PayPal, and others. So speak to one of your resident flutists if you uh, have any questions about financing. So you want to request a trial. We have a couple of different methods. The easiest is to go to flutecenter.com and fill out our trial request form. You can fill out all the information we need to get from you to send the trial and also let us know what you're interested in trying. Within about a day, you'll hear from us and we'll get you all set up with the flute you want to try. Uh, the other way, you can just give us a call and speak to one of our resident flutists and we can get a trial set up for you. Um, that's a great way to reach us if you have questions or are unsure what you're looking to try. We are happy to consult with you, talk about budget or features, different brands, all of the curiosities you have about all the things that are out there for you. Uh, giving us a call and talking to us is a great way to get started with the trial. Once your trial arrives, we have some suggestions for how to proceed. First of all, keep an open mind. It's very common that the flute that clients expect to love most is not the flute they end up purchasing. Um, it may be that the flute you almost didn't try is the one that's right for you. We recommend playtesting each flute in short spurts. Think of it more as a sprint, not a marathon. And make sure you take time to rest in between each trial. It's a good idea to take notes on what you like and dislike about each flute. We actually have a helpful trial notes page on our website that you can use. We also recommend warming up on your current flute and trying the flutes in a room that you usually practice in so that you're familiar with the acoustic of the space. So you've warmed up on your current flute. You wanna use the flute that you own right now as a baseline, um, because if the new flutes you're trying don't sound better than that, then that's a good you know, indicator that you need to try some different flutes still. Um, then the next thing you wanna do on the flutes that you're playtesting is to playtest familiar short passages. Uh, you don't wanna play something too long. It's very hard for our brains to remember what we've heard if you do things longer than like four bars. Um, if you're having a hard time still hearing differences, I always recommend playing in all the octaves. And a really easy way to do that is an F major scale. Uh, and I do it in two octaves, start down on low F and go all the way up to high F and come back down. And I do it slurred. Um, when I do this, I always do it with the biggest, fullest sound I can get because I really just want to get an overall idea of what the flute sounds like. So this is what I do. And that's just a very simple way to hear the difference between each flute. 
and that kind of gives you a, a general sound profile of everything you're trying. After you get that sort of idea in your mind, I move on to more specific things. You can do things like articulation, dynamics. Um, you might do some octaves like this. To see how flexible the flute is in going from register to register. Um, and then you might try with a tuner and see how the flute sounds. Do you have any tendencies you need to you know, work out with the flute? Um, at the end of the day, you have to uh, love the flute. So if it makes you smile, that's always a great sign. Even if you can't meet your teacher for an in-person lesson, you should still consult with them. We recommend recording yourself playing the different flutes and sending the recording to your teacher for their input. If you don't have a teacher or if you can't reach your teacher, feel free to send your recordings to an FCNY resident flutist. We're all teachers and professional musicians and we would love to help. We recommend recording each flute with audio only. The quality will be much better than if you record as a video. So you've tried a bunch of flutes and now you're ready to make your final decision. The number one most important thing to remember is that your new flute should make you feel like a better player. It should give you confidence, it should make you feel happy when you play it. You should want to practice because the more you practice, the better you're going to get. It's this great cycle. It's also important to remember that the specifications of a flute can't be changed, but if you love the flute, don't get caught, caught up too much in the things you can't change. Sometimes the right flute is just the right flute for you. And while we're talking about the right flute, there's no such thing as the right flute for every player. We get that question a lot. What's the best flute to buy? And the answer is, whichever one is right for you. Lastly, and most importantly, trust yourself. I can't tell you how many times somebody comes in thinking that they want to buy this type of flute, and they leave with something completely different, and they never even heard of that before. But that's the right flute for them. So when you play something and it gives you that feeling, just trust yourself. I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to help you find your next flute. Keep in mind that the Flute Center of New York has the best trained, friendliest staff in the entire industry, and we are more than happy to work with you as much as needed to find your next instrument. Now that you've found your perfect flute, it's time to have some more fun and accessorize. Flute Center of New York and Rose Music offer thousands of sheet music titles to choose from and hundreds of accessories to have some fun with. Thank <laughs> you.